and welcome back to Stroop Mansion. Today I want to start a new series. Something that I was kind of stressing about is how I would make as many videos as I want to without having that many finished projects. That's something that I struggle with is that I just want to show you like the shiny finished projects, but uh, as it turns out, that's not really a possibility. Owning an old house is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So you can start a project that seems really simple and straightforward, and then it just is pulling the yarn out of the sweater. Like, it just cuckoo craziness underneath. So, projects just take a lot longer than they should most of the time. I also have ADHD, and if something is not bringing me my little burst of joy anymore, I abandon it for, you know, however long, and then I come back to it, which is maybe why the kitchen is taking so long. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's me. You can expect from the series a lot of, like, bouncing around. Um, she is getting fur up my nose. Uh, a lot of bouncing around because, like I said, I do kind of get bored of things really quickly and want to start something new, which is why I always do have like a bazillion projects going at one time. But it works out because I finish them eventually. Uh, so yeah, from the series you can expect like some snippets into projects that I'm doing, uh, no matter how boring, like hand sanding trim. I'll probably get into some of that this week. You can expect maybe some more like daily life kind of maybe vlog style things where like Maybe we go spend some time in the garden during the week. Um, just that sort of thing. Anything that ties to the house or relates to my life in the house is fair game. The thought is, is that these videos will start on Mondays where I check in and I tell you, here's what I'm going to be doing this week, um, give you a little overview of the plans, and then on Friday, which will be in the same video, I will then kind of let you know what got finished, what didn't, here's some things, the other things that I got into that I didn't expect to, just like a real, a real peek. Let's get started with this first video. It is Monday and I think this week I would like to pet squid forever. Wallpaper for the half bath arrived this week, so I would like to get that hung. It's just sitting on my um, dining room table taunting me. I'm very intimidated by it. I don't know why. I've hung wallpaper before and I had a blast, but it just seems like such a like big scary thing. And I feel like it's one of those things that you have to, you have to do it before you can get like really good at it. But it's just, I don't know, it's scary. It's so scary. But before I do that, before I hang the wallpaper, I want to paint the paneling in the bathroom. So we did beadboard paneling on the bottom portion of the wall. And I want to get that painted before I hang the wallpaper. And I'm also painting all of the trim in that room the same color. Some of the trim is not hung yet. And then some of the trim that is hanging gets like add-ons to make it like fancier. So just lots of painting happening in there. That seems like a pretty big list of things to do. I know it doesn't sound like it, but those seem like pretty big projects. So... I don't know that I'm going to say that I'm going to get into anything else this week. You will hear from me in a couple days. It's Friday and I am back to update you on what I got done for this week. I would say it was a pretty productive week. I got all my painting done and I got the wallpaper hung and that, I don't know if that sounds like a lot to you. It was, it was, it was some very busy days. Let me show you a quick before of the bathroom. Before as in after I got it insulated and hung new drywall. Lots of work to get to this point, but still very much a blank slate. Now let's get to work. The trim, I got two coats done on that and it will need a third, but I also have additional trim that needs hung and that will have nail holes to fill. So I'm just gonna wait to do my third coat of paint on that trim until all of the trim is installed and then all of it will get one final coat just to really, you know, tighten it up and make it look really good. But I am quite pleased with the color that Jeff and I chose. I went to Home Depot and I just picked out like every color that I thought might match the wallpaper. So the one that we ended up choosing is Secluded Woods. So pretty. I was a little bit worried because when I took the paint sample, like the paint swatch in the bathroom, with the lighting that was available then at the time, because there are no windows in that room, it appeared 
quite black. Like you couldn't see the greeniness to it. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. And it looks so good, I'm very excited. The beadboard, what I did was I cut in in all of the crevices with a brush and then I rolled everything out. It was a bit time consuming, but otherwise you're never gonna get all the crevices if you don't brush and then roll. Plus it gives you a nice smooth finish. After that dried, I hung the wallpaper. I am uh, I'm so excited about it. So I already told you on my Monday part of this video that I was very nervous to hang wallpaper in the whole room. I, I was worried about the corners. I was worried, I don't know, just about like the, the big space. It, I don't know. I am happy to report that I'm obsessed with how it looks, that it wasn't too terrible, but it was quite time consuming, and that my corners aren't perfect but they're, they're really good and the pattern matching was hard because I think I had stretched the wallpaper by like pulling too hard on with my squeegee thing. Uh, but that's life, it, it's fine, it's no big deal. It looks amazing and I think that if you are looking at it, you're not gonna notice those mistakes and if you are like looking for those mistakes, then I don't know, you're a jerk, get, get over it. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> whatever, I did a great job. I'm very, very excited about it. This wallpaper is by the company Wall Colors. I will leave a link to them in the description below. They have a website and an Etsy shop if you feel safer buying on Etsy. I don't know, sometimes I do. But they were really awesome. So what happened is that I have no idea how to measure for wallpaper. Measuring is not my strong point. I, I get by, but like, I don't really know how to calculate wallpaper ridge. I know that you need to like pattern match, blah, blah, blah. It freaks me out. 
So what I did was I just measured my bathroom and then I drew a really rough picture where it's um, like you can see where the paneling is, you can see where my uh, picture rail comes down and then like I marked like this is where the wallpaper goes and I gave them the measurements. And what they do for you is they send you it in panels that specifically match your dimensions with a little bit of fudge and room on the top on the bottom so that you don't you're not like scrambling if you go a little bit crooked but the thing is is I didn't know that like they sent me an email and was like and they were like oh is this what you were like picturing and it was like all of the panels and I was like yeah that's perfect but I just thought they were like asking if I don't I don't know if they understood my drawing correctly but it turned out when I started rolling them out that they actually sent me nine panels each one is marked and labeled so that you know which order they go in and they all pattern match perfectly so there's no like fussing around with it super awesome i definitely think that like a smaller business like that and like contacting them beforehand is the way to go with wallpaper you don't there's no waste like it's perfect but let you know that this wallpaper was provided to me from the brand for free in exchange for content uh but i picked it out i hunted them down i was the one who initiated this because I love their wallpaper. They have really, 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 really fun patterns. It's really hard to choose. I, I basically opened like 900 tabs and then let Jeff go through them and like narrow it down to this one because I couldn't choose. There were so many fun ones. So thank you wall colors. The next day I hung up the mirror in the wall sconces because I could not wait to see how they looked. I'm, oh, I'm so happy about it. This mirror was actually in the bathroom when we bought the house. I didn't super love it, but I also didn't hate it. I actually ended up finding a ceiling medallion at Goodwill that matched it. Or it doesn't, it doesn't match match. It matches, which means they both have flowers on them. They're both like, I don't know. They have the same, the same feel, the same vibe. So I just thought that it was like a sign to keep the mirror. And I'm really happy with how it turned out when it was painted gold. I'm also reusing the switch plate and outlet covers that were already in the house when we bought it. I just gave them a fresh coat of gold because there's no sense buying new ones unless I get like really fancy ones, but use what you have. So let me show you some footage of what it all looks like right now with everything that I got done this week. I also color matched this vent cover here for the fan so that it matches the wallpaper, which is a really nice touch for just $5 at Home Depot. Also, please don't think this is a normal work week. I've been working on this room since July, so it's just kind of like all coming to a head right now, which works out because it's good content, but also I'm not normally hanging wallpaper and painting and just kind of like bringing a room from zero to 10 in like the, in a span of one week. It just it just worked out that way. And it looks really cool and I'm really excited and I'm so excited that this is when I'm rekindling my YouTube channel. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your enthusiasm for the house like so, so, so much. Uh, it's just awesome to know that like people are rooting for you and are also excited about your big dumb house. So yeah, thank you. See you next time. I feel like this series may need editing in the fact that like what about the things that I finish on Friday like where do those projects what week do those projects go in video wise I don't know I'm not gonna be strict with it I'm gonna be loosey-goosey here but um, I think this can be a pretty fun series if you have any suggestions on how you would like to see it formatted or how you would best like to enjoy it uh, definitely let me know because I'm all ears